A recent study suggests the universe is similar to your brain, only at a much, much larger scale. The brain's neural network contains about 86 billion neurons. The observable universe has at least 100 billion galaxies. Both galaxies and neurons have a similar structure. It's a complex web of nodes linking up long thread-like fibers. But in each of these systems, the fibers make up a mere 30% of the total mass, and the remaining 70% are either water in the brain or dark energy in the universe. The ways that galaxies and webs of neurons connect with one another are surprisingly similar. In both cases, the process follows the same physical principles. At the same time, some researchers claim the resemblance between the brain and the universe is only superficial. Your mind perceives tiny details and joins them, and then it comes up with a conclusion that has nothing in common with reality, like the brain is a mini-universe. In billions of years, the universe is likely to expand so much that we won't be able to see any stars in the sky. To turn Earth into a black hole, you'd have to squeeze it until it was the size of a marble. And if you wanted the sun to become a black hole, you'd have to compress it until it's no more than four miles across. A starburst galaxy is a galaxy that's forming tons of new stars at breakneck speed. It usually happens after two galaxies merge into one. While Earth has only one natural satellite, Jupiter is surrounded by at least 79 moons. In the universe, there are not only dwarf planets, but also dwarf galaxies. They have from 1,000 to a few billion stars. For comparison, the Milky Way galaxy is made up of 250 to 400 billion stars. A supermassive black hole 250 million light years away from Earth hums the deepest sound ever detected from any object in the universe. It's one quadrillion which is one with 15 zeros, times deeper than what the human ear can hear. Planet Kelt 9 b is 670 light years away from Earth. It's an ultra-hot Jupiter. Those are giant, scorching hot planets with a mass similar to that of Jupiter. On Kelt 9 b the heat is so great on the day side of the planet, it tears molecules apart. Any liquid floating in outer space forms itself into a sphere. It also happens in low Earth orbit. Our home Milky Way galaxy is more than 105,000 light years across. All the planets of the solar system would fit between Earth and the Moon with some space to spare. Black holes spaghettify things. It happens when something gets past the point of no return. Then the black hole's gravitational pull starts to stretch this object in one direction and squeeze in another. The first celestial body that astronomers identified as a spiral was the Whirlpool Galaxy. Its long arms are made of gas and stars, and everything is sprinkled with fine space dust. When you're on Earth, you can only see 5% of the universe. A star coming too close to a black hole can be torn apart by its gravitational force. WASP-12b is a giant planet 1,400 light years away from Earth. It's made up mostly of gas. Unfortunately, the planet is doomed. It orbits too close to its parent star. In about 10 million years, WASP-12b will be swallowed by its greedy sun. Our Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy, its closest neighbor, are going to meet in a bit less than 4 billion years. When they collide, they'll form one huge elliptical galaxy. One of Saturn's smaller moons, Enceladus, reflects almost 90% of the sun's light. It makes the moon one of the brightest objects in the solar system. But since it reflects sunlight instead of absorbing it, the temperatures on Enceladus's icy surface drop to negative 330 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. It's three times as high as Mount Everest. 
If you were standing on top of Olympus Mons, its slopes would be hidden by the planet's curvature. In our solar system, Mercury and Venus are the only two planets without moons. Scientists who are planning to send droids to Mars want to load the machines with lots of heavy equipment. The droids will also be built from stronger materials, all because of the relatively low gravity on the red planet. Everything on Mars is almost three times lighter than on Earth. Pluto's largest moon is half the size of the dwarf planet itself. This makes Charon, that's the moon's name, the largest known satellite relative to its parent size. There are three golf balls on the moon. They were launched during the Apollo 14 mission. Mathematicians claim white holes might exist, even though scientists haven't found one yet. If you came across a white hole, you wouldn't be able to enter it from the outside. But you'd see light and matter escaping from within. On our planet, one full rotation takes one day. But the sun is so enormous that it needs 25 to 35 Earth days to make one rotation. The moon is not a perfect sphere. It's shaped more like an egg because of the Earth's gravity. Spacesuits protect astronauts from huge temperature differences during spacewalks, from negative 250 degrees Fahrenheit to positive 250 degrees Fahrenheit. A neutron star gets born after a supernova collapses. After birth, it rotates extremely fast, about 60 times per second. But this rate can sometimes grow up to 600 times per second. In 2007, astronomers started to receive ultra-bright and ultra-strong radio signals. Named fast radio bursts, they were coming from somewhere billions of light years away. When astronauts are in space, they often see random flashes of light. They occur when cosmic rays hit the optic nerve in the eye. If you traveled around Pluto's equator, it would be the same distance as walking from Rome to New York City. If you visited GJ504b, a planet located a mere 57 light years away from Earth, you'd see that the planet is glowing. It's because of the heat left after its formation. The planet's color is a dull magenta, like a dark cherry blossom. Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets in the solar system. It lasts just 9 hours and 55 minutes. Because of its fast rotation, Jupiter isn't a perfect sphere. It's a bit flattened. Venus has more volcanoes than any other planet in the solar system. There are at least 1,600 of them on the planet's surface, but most of them are extinct. Mercury has wrinkles. When its iron core was cooling, the planet's crust contracted. It made the surface of the planet uneven. Nuclear pasta found inside neutron stars is believed to be the strongest substance in the universe. These noodles of neutrons can be 10 billion times stronger than steel. Some astronomers believe black holes might have no event horizon, aka the point of no return. Instead, there might be the apparent horizon. It can only trap stuff for some time. Later, matter or energy escapes, but in a different form. Each Apollo mission needed 15 spacesuits. Each member of the three-person main crew needed three suits. One was for training, the second for flight. And there was also a backup suit, in case something went wrong with the flight suit. And each of the three members of the backup crew had two spacesuits, one for training and one for flight. Scientists believe Mercury might still have a partially molten core. It could explain why the planet has a magnetic field, even if it's just 1% as strong as Earth's. Dust storms on Mars are the most severe in the whole solar system. They can be raging for months on end. On planet Kepler-16b, which is 245 light years away from Earth, not one, but two suns set over the horizon. The planet is as massive as our Saturn, but has a higher density. It takes 45 minutes to put on a spacesuit. After it's done, 
an astronaut needs another hour to adapt to new conditions. Earth grazing fireballs are bright meteors that enter the Earth's atmosphere but then leave it again. Triton, one of Neptune's moons, orbits the planet backward. It's the only big moon of any known planet to do so. Triton is also gradually getting closer to Neptune. Experts think that, eventually, the moon will be pulled apart by Neptune's gravity, and then it'll form a ring around the gas giant. Dwarf planet Haumea, which is further from Earth than Neptune, is truly bizarre. It's orbiting in the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped ring of ice objects circling the sun. Haumea has two moons, a weirdly elongated shape, and a day that lasts four Earth hours. But the coolest thing, the dwarf planet is surrounded by incredibly thin rings. They're likely the result of an ancient collision. It takes Neptune almost 165 Earth years to make one full orbit around the Sun. In other words, since the gas giant was discovered in 1846, it's only circled the Sun once.